Hello everybody, welcome to the Leap.com video for February 9th, 2011. Be sure to visit our website, Leap.com, L-E-E-B.com, to sign up and download a free special report. The big news this week, of course, uh, was China's interest rate increase. Now, China is actually relatively late to this game. Other central banks in the region began raising rates as early as late 2009, and the majority of them were well along this road by the spring of last year. Commodities have taken the tightening in Asia since last, uh, since last fall in stride, and this week's action was no different. The Chinese central bank had made it abundantly clear that rates are headed higher this year, uh, making the, uh, this week's news more of a confirmation than a surprise. Copper has hit another record high this week, silver is up another 4% this month, and uh, new data is out reinforcing the precarious nature of platinum's dwindling supply. Meanwhile, JP Morgan's decision to accept gold as collateral for securities lending and repurchase obligations uh, is the most telling sign of the times that we've come across uh, in quite a while. Previously, only exchanges uh, had allowed use of gold holdings as, as collateral. Uh, this means two things to us. Uh, first, JP Morgan's large clients are using uh, gold as an inflation hedge on their balance sheets and want the capital that gold represents to produce greater yield uh, for them. Uh, secondly, it means that JP Morgan feels sufficiently confident uh, about the direction of gold prices or at least uh, their stability at present levels to accept the metal as security against cash obligations. Gold prices so far uh, this year are down and gold could very well underperform uh, industrial commodities uh, if economic growth is decent this year. But uh, as we've noted numerous times before, it's still a must-own investment. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and join us again soon.